Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, I'd like to thank um, a fan of my YouTube channel, Alex, for sending in this uh, box of very interesting old tools. Um, I got it yesterday, that's Friday. Um, it's just fantastic. Let's have a look what we've got guys. We've got some um, drill bits there, augers, drill bits, whichever you like to call them. Um, it looks like a pair of pliers, saw set, there's a vise here as well and then in the bottom we have um, a selection of spanners, pliers, um, we have an adjustable reamer here and some uh, carbon fibre, cheap too by the looks of it, it's fantastic. And yes, I have um, actually been through this lot already because if you've uh, if you're a follower of my Instagram channel, you will have seen this lot already. But if you don't follow me on Instagram, you won't have seen them. So that's why I'm doing this video. So what I'm going to do now is, guys, I'm going to get everything out on the bench here, and we'll take a closer look. Okay, guys. So here they are, all laid out on my little tiny workbench here. Um, we've got a selection of spanners here. There's quite a few interesting-looking pliers. Nice little vise. Now I'm pretty sure that my father had um, this model of um, saw set for setting the teeth on his saw because uh, by trade my late father was a carpenter. I've got one or two of his saws up in the rafters of the workshop here. I'll show you those in a moment or two. Um, basically you'd put the saw blade in here and it would um, then set the teeth right for you. This one's brass. Um, and I imagine this one should polish up very nicely indeed and say it might be that father had the same model this one being an Eclipse number 77 that's very nice indeed I like that a lot um, also in the same bag Alex included these uh, this is a small pair of uh, Klein pliers I've been looking out for some Klein pliers at the car boot sale um, or flea market and I've not been able to find one yet a set yet but this is a quite a nice set I like these indeed um, and from what I can see of the uh, date code on the handle here I think it was um, let me think now the second quarter 1943 that these were made they should clean it very nicely too they're a nice pair of pliers actually my first set of Kleins then I have some more pliers here Elliot Lucas uh, these are Wilkinson tools and the uh, writing on here looks very much like it could be Art Deco style writing on there. This is an unbranded pair of um, pliers too. Uh, I don't know what make this set is. This is um, some side cutters. And they're quite stiff but I'm sure we can do something with those. They've got some silver paint on them as well. Little rubber handles here. Probably getting a bit grubby but never mind. Um, a little 6 inch Iriga adjustable which is like exceedingly stiff to uh, work but I'm sure we can clean that up and get it going that's very nice too he also sent along this old tyre lever here for your bicycle I would imagine could have been used for motorcycle uh, tyres as well possibly it's quite large quite a nice little thing and we also have this rather interesting um, adjustable reamer here not seen one of these about at the uh, boot sale that looks very nice indeed we have some numbers on here um, that's quite nice. What do you think of that guys? He sent along a nice mix of um, little tiny spanners here. This is a 8 and 10 mil. What's the brand on this one then? Let's have a look. Have we got a brand on it? Heyco. What we've got here then? Um, 7 mil open and ring combination spanner by Elora. Um, what do we have here? Atco. Maybe this came along with somebody's lawnmower, I don't know. Um, SSP, made in England, uh, 3 16th and quarter. This one is 3 16th and quarter again, but is by Austin. So this has obviously came with somebody's car, God knows how many decades ago. Looks quite old to me. He also sent in this very nice PS and W made in the USA little I think this is like a jeweler's vice still runs 
It's had a little bit of a use over the years. I've yet to find out how old this thing is. But just clamps onto your um, to your bench. It's quite a nice little thing, like that too. In here, we have a, a nice selection of um, carpenter's drill bits here. I don't know how old these are, but uh, they're very nice indeed. Uh, it'll be interesting to give them a try out on some wood, see if they still work. But they're nice. What do you think of those guys? And here we have a, uh, a length of carbon fibre tape here. I wonder if you can see the different layers in there. That's quite nice. Don't know how much is in here, but quite a bit. Very nice indeed. Here we go. Self adhesive. Now then, when I emptied the box, it was still quite heavy at one corner, namely down here, because I thought I'd got all the tools out of it, but tucked down this corner, we had a couple of very interesting tools. Chuck that down there. Namely, this little fellow here. This is really interesting. I've been, you know, trying to find something like this at the car boot sale, but failed miserably. This is a nice one. Don't know how old this is, but it's uh, got considerable age to it, I would imagine. Um, but also, one of my favourites, the footprint wrench. And I thought to myself, oh, that's interesting. I've already got one of these. But as it turns out, what I actually have is a five and a half inch model and a seven inch model and this one is a six inch model. So my collection of these things is coming along very nicely indeed. These are some of my favourite tools these for some reason or another. I just like them. Alrighty guys, so we're, we've got quite a nice collection of um, tools here, vintage tools something that I really do enjoy collecting. I go to the flea market and boot sale to uh, look for stuff. Some Elliot Lucas, we've got some nice Elliot Lucas. I'm not sure what the number is on these, but they're elect, but I'm not sure what the number is, because I can't see it yet, they're a bit uh, grubby, so I'll have to clean them up and find out what the number is. Um, I say the lettering typeface on these looks very um, Art Deco. They could be from like the 20s or 30s. Nice, like those. Some really nice kit here, especially this. This will do. Hopefully, should clean up nicely a little bit. But yeah, some really fantastic tools here sent in by uh, Alex, uh, a fan of the channel, obviously. And um, yeah, so uh, have you guys got a favourite amongst this lot? I like, um, especially when you get. Um, these footprints with the original uh, pivot pin in, that's really nice. Um, this is uh, surprisingly lightweight, not as heavy as some of the uh, small adjustables I've got. Quite lightweight that one. The jaws are a little stiff in there, quite a lot stiff. You've got to really work it to get them going, so we'll have to clean that up, get them working. And so we've got some old, uh, three old spanners, two newer ones. Oh, and I forgot to mention this little fellow here, little um, pincers. My late father had. Uh, couple of pairs of these I do believe for getting nails out. Got like a screwdriver at the end here. And we also have a little nail remover there. You can get nails out with that. So yeah, very nice indeed. Thank you very much Alex. Yes, so we've got some uh, quite interesting stuff here. Uh, thanks to my fan Alex. So I've been after some um, Kleins for quite some time. Never found any yet. So I like those, they're nice. 1943 I believe they were made. Looking at the date code on them. Alright guys, if you've got any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Let me know which is your favourite one out of this lot. As I say, I'm pretty sure my late father had some of these. These in this model exactly, most likely. Something very similar, if not. Um, like these. Yeah, excellent. My um, footprint collection is coming along a treat now, so I'm really pleased about that. So I'll get those cleaned up and uh, put into my collection. Yep, all right guys, so uh, let me know if you've got uh, any favorites amongst this lot. Um, I hope you'll pop by again in the near future. I'll see what I've got to, you know, cleaning these up. Uh, I don't know when I'm gonna start on these lot, but uh, certainly looking forward to doing those ones, the clients. All right guys, so let's thank Alex once again for sending this wonderful kit in here. Thank you very much. And I'll hope you'll pop over again in the near future. And I'll uh, catch you back here at Rathbone Manor very soon. 
Laters! Oh, <laughs>